Good evening, welcome to evening. It is the afternoon here. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hi, my name is Joseph Krupper. I, or Kelly G, you can call me either. Right now, um, I'm just frazzled, so you can call me that as well. I have a lot of projects that I am working on. For May, I am not going to have a project video for that outfit because I bought all the pieces, which is good because I just found out last night that I'm going to fast track my way through the next few projects so that they're all going to be due pretty much around the same time. Now I was going to show you my Tin Man outfit. So I'm doing a Tin Man outfit, but I don't know what video this is going to be going in, but I'm doing a Tin Man outfit. I'm also doing a recreation of Shania Twain's outfit in Legends Never Die with Orville Peck and um, Recreation might end up being a, a loose term. I am going to go for something very close to it though, because that outfit is glorious. I sat down to actually start working on this outfit and I realized, let me go get the pattern piece. Hold on. I made this pattern a lot. It's just a McCall's M7455. A lot of these pattern um, types for cosplay things at the Joanne. I bought this one quite a while ago. I've actually made a couple of outfits out of this already. So I kind of know what I'm doing. The difference is, with this 10 man character, I'm trying to make it like a fantasy femme. The 10 man's already fantasy, but I'm making it femme, I'm making it metallic, I'm making it glittery. We're going to be doing, you know, Wizard of Oz, except make it very drag. Um, and I, I'm trying to do a more feminine 10 man, a 10 woman. No, a femme 10 man. It is the beginning of May, actually we're a week through May, but I am trying to get all the things done because I have a show now, the first weekend of June, and reading time filming the weekend after that. I will be using one of those outfits for a, another filming in July. So we're just getting a bunch of stuff done at once. I'm trying to make the most of my time. This outfit I've done before, but I have not included the skirt part any of the times I've done it, I don't believe. And now the problem that I'm running into is that I have this skirt piece, but it's like this long, and this is only like half of it, but it's split in half and it doesn't fit any width of spandex material that I can get at the Joanne, which I feel like is a design flaw, especially for someone who's trying to make it from fabric that they're getting at a local store. Whatever. What I think I'm gonna do is actually cut this pattern piece in half and then give myself seam allowance so that I can piece them two together. So we're doing piecing today and I will do my best to show you what that is. Yeah, I'm just frazzled and I don't know when this video is gonna go up, but I wanna make sure that I'm documenting it as much as possible. So anyways, Tin Man with this pattern, it's going to be cute, sexy, fun, not sexy. It's not sexy. There's no, there's no sexiness. It's just gonna be cute and fun and feminine. <laughs> sexy, it's just, ah, ah. Let's do it, Cali G Sews. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. So this is the width of, this is the width of fabric that I have. And this is the pattern piece. And you have to cut it on a fold. But when I put it over here on the fold, it does not, see it goes all the way over here. There's all this part of the metal, see this is very shimmery stuff. There's all this part that I can't use. And also it goes over to the end of this. There's all this part I can't use cause it's white and it goes all the way over. So yeah, and that's, that's with it not even lined up. It's a big mess. So like I said, what I'm gonna do is cut it in half and give myself some seam allowance and I'll try and show you the best version of that the footage that I can. Hi, it's the evening. I've had a day. I've barely gotten anything done, but I just wanted to update you. So 
I showed you me cutting out the skirt bottom tier pieces out of the shiny fabric. And then I went to try and fit another half of the back piece. Um, yeah, to this piece right here. And let me show you. This piece is not going to fit at all. It will not fit here. It will not fit there. It will not fit anywhere. If you put it here, this is all like white stuff and that's inappropriate and that doesn't work. So it fits on this thing here, right? But I need to give like five eighths of an inch more so that I can stitch the two pieces together. That piece is gone until I can buy more fabric. But the good thing is these are the little, the panty pieces and they fit on here. Oof. Wait, this is four way stretch, so it doesn't really matter, but they fit on here just fine. They, they fit, they do fit. I tried it a second ago. So that goes here and this goes here. Anyways, they fit, they fit on there. So just the panties are gonna be this iridescent stuff. And then I have this more tinny looking stuff for the rest of the body, but I'm gonna have to go buy more fabric. Hi, final update. I'm doing it again in my hands instead of on a stand. So I apologize if you're getting nausea. I'm trying my best. I, okay, so those pieces that I took from this, ooh, silvery iridescent. This is the only thing that's keeping me going right now. Those pieces that I took and had to piece together, I was having a heck of a time piecing them together at the machine. I bought this thread that I had seen before. This is actually like spandex stretchy thread. It stretches, it stretches just like spandex usually does for fabric. So it's interesting. And I thought that that would solve all my problems. I have not sewed with spandex for a long time. And it showed because I started sewing and I was like, why is this not going through the machine? And I forgot that you have to stretch the material. Just look at the material as you sew it. But I got it together. So um, here it is. There is a seam there. It doesn't look great, but it is there. And I'm going to bed now, so thank you. Thank you for watching this first chapter of me hazily making one part of a four part skirt. Hi, as a quick side note, um, what I just told you was completely false. If you have to stretch your fabric, your stretch fabric while you're sewing in order to get the seams to work, you're doing it wrong. And I'll explain what you should actually do later in this vlog. Thank you for your patience. Hi, I just ran out of thread on the Shania outfit that I'm working on. I'm going to use the daylight I still have in order to work on this project now. This is, oh, oh such a beautiful clock. Um, it's just a piece of plastic. I should have known that it was gonna be like this when I ordered it. I didn't look very far into it, whatever. It's just super cheap. So even has like those, like the words on it, it's weird. So I'm just trying to make it a little bit heftier and prettier. And my plan all along was to make this like a, a rainbow clock and I'm going to still do that. But the materials that I have bought are going to make it take a long time. So anyways, I, because it was hollow, I filled it in with model magic. And then what I'm gonna do is trace this around. So it's not like a green backing. It will little bit nicer. Um, it won't be like the full shape of a heart on both sides like it is in the movie, but at least it'll look a little uniform. I do like this daisy chain, so that's gonna stay there. Um, but yeah, then I have all these little gemmy gems that I'm going to painstakingly make into a rainbow fashion on this 
and hopefully I have enough to cover it and hopefully it looks good and doesn't look like poop. Hello, it's me, Joseph Prepper. I um, don't remember last time I filmed. I have been working on my Shania Twain uh, liver thing. You can see in the back, it's almost finished at this point. I received in the mail, I could, didn't have to do this. <laughs> what happened was I went back to the Joanne to get more fabric because I needed this fabric for the rest of the stuff. I didn't get enough the first time. Um, so I have like a couple of skirt pieces to cut out and then also the jacket pieces for this. And they didn't have any. And so I like ordered some off of Joanne and I like rush shipped it because I, I, need, I need it right now. I need it right now. And it got here and then it sat in a pile while I was working on this one <laughs> for like maybe a week or two. And since then, I've been to the Joanne again, and they definitely have it back in stock. So I could have saved myself the money, but um, you know, I did what I thought was best at the time. Now I am here with that fabric. I have three yards of it, so I can finish this stuff. I probably will have extra. Hopefully, I'll have extra rather than running out. And yeah, I need to cut out the other pieces and then actually start sewing this thing together in proper. And that is that is where we're at this journey. Thank you for coming. Um, I hope that you enjoy watching me sew this tin man, woman, femme tin man, tin, tin person, the he, him, lesbian. Yes. Okay, I want everyone to wait just a few moments. Soon you will see an amazing thing you can buy from Miss Callie's Redbubble store. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It's my face on a t-shirt. Isn't it so cute? Book monster. She's a book love monster. It's it's cute. It's fabulous. It's okay. Anyways, you can go to um, my Redbubble shop uh, by going to Redbubble and then typing in RTWTQ and you can buy all kinds of stuff there and support reading time. I love sewing. Half a day's work and this is what I have got done. Yay! Hi, it's midday on Sunday, on uh, Memorial Day weekend. I am sitting here sewing. It's going great. So I showed you that I got the top of the outside of the, um, the bodice piece for the Tin Man outfit done. And then this is the lining. So this one has a lining. I haven't done, <laughs> Every time that I've done this pattern, I have not actually done the lining part of it because I'm lazy, but this time I'm trying to. People are nice. And that is, that's the plan. It's kind of weird because I feel like most linings for dresses, they try to make sure that all the seams are hidden, but this dress is like, you have a lining piece, but then you are still gonna have like lining and um, bodice, seams be seen from the inside of the costume which i think is weird i don't know why the pattern says that but that is what it says and so that's that's how i'm sewing it and we're gonna see how it turns out
it's the end of Sunday and I have gotten this much done in the second part of the day. Yay! Um, it's, it's quite wrinkly. I will need to figure out a way to press it. But, um, and I always hate this material. I don't, I don't know how to get this part of the bodice to ever lay correctly. So, um, yeah, I think it looks fine. It's fine. It's fine. But this is how much I have done. Um, I think that my, I think that my mannequin is actually bigger than me now. Because here it does not want to fit. But on me, it's almost too big. So, I don't know. Or maybe... This just has boobs, and that's the problem. So yeah, anyways, um, I really need to like iron down these pleats. I don't know if it's gonna make any difference. I don't know if I really like the little thing underneath, but maybe I will once I get the jacket done. I do not know if I like it yet. Hi, it is a week before I need to have this outfit done and I'm struggling along the struggle bus. Um, it's just, there's so many layers of fabric and they're so thick and I can't get the tension right or whatever, excuse me. And it's taking a long time. Um, that being said, I'm just sitting here after a show. <laughs> Last night I had a show. My first show back at Charlie's for Charlie's Angels. And right, pretty good. Um, and I wore my Shania Twain outfit then, um, but you will not see that until next month. Yeah, I'm just sewing this, the skirt, the upper tier squirt, Warped skirt portion to this bodice piece. So that's what I'm doing. I'm never gonna get this outfit done in time. Um, okay, so it's just, my machine keeps stalling out. I think I'm sewing through too many layers of spandex and I'm making it through, but I have to reset my, my yarn, yarn thread, like every 10 seconds because it's just, it's just too, it's just too thick and the thread keeps breaking and all this business, so. I'm putting in a zipper now. And we're gonna, I'm gonna have to maybe, I might have to just pivot to the jacket so that I have the top of the outfit done. <laughs> so at least that part's done. And then it's probably gonna be a lot of late nights. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Hi, I also have a drag show tonight, but I'm doing sewing while I'm waiting for Jody. So there we go, more sewing. I just wanna document that moment where I literally have no time to like <laughs> hang out or do anything fun, so I'm sewing. He says he's gonna be ready in a few minutes. We'll find out about that. Okay, and here is some light footage of me taking my project to work so that I can finish hand sewing on the job. This is how desperate I was. Excuse this entire clip, oh my God. Frantic, frantic.
know. Every single time you see me, I'm just sitting in this spot because this is basically what happens. I go to work, I come home, I might have time to do sewing or I might not. Um, things that have happened in the past couple days, I did finish the little heart, rainbow heart, TikTok, little heart thing. Um, clock, that's the word. That's what they call the timekeepers. What I'm working on now, I'm taking, okay, this is my logical, this is the way that I'm thinking right now. I have gotten the garment portion of like, you know, the thing that's supposed to cover my body for the outfit to a point where if I was filming myself, you wouldn't be able to tell if it was done or not, regardless of if I add the second skirt, put the little panty part underneath, sew that all together, whatever. There's a zipper, it's there, it works. So I am choosing to move on to the jacket that is supposed to be part of this outfit. And my idea is that I will be able to at least, if I get the jacket done, film the program and maybe finish it in proper um, when I have the time to do that. Um, so that's what I'm doing and I took the day off work so that I could get really far on it and that I'm just trying, I really should be working quicker, but I'm also just trying to like be deliberate and getting as much done as possible because I literally have less than 48 hours before I have to film in this. And the jacket has barely been put together. I have been working on it a little bit already. This is the lining portion. This is the part that's supposed to be in the front. It's gonna go like, ooh, it's gonna be like that and all kinds of stuff. So actually, no, it's gonna end up being on my body like, Okay, what? So, for some reason, this is the thing about me. I will get an idea about how things have to happen, and then very little will detract me from that. And I'm not saying that anything was trying to detract me from that, but one time I saw... <laughs> in mind at this point I have I'm almost done with one costume piece just starting another and also have finished an entire Shania Twain uh recreation leopard print legends over die thing okay it's all stretch fabric one time I was at the Joanne and I saw thread for stretch fabrics and I thought oh this is gonna solve my problems I think that they I think that it has actually created more problems. I don't really have a, an end to this statement or thought, but I just did this whole entire thing. This is a front seam, mind you, in regular ass white cotton thread with a stretch stitch, which I did not know about until I started this pro project. But I started doing the stretch stitch with the stretch thread. You can stretch this without any issues with the stretch stitch with the cotton. Thread. And it is so much easier to sew with. I have lots of questions I don't have any answers for. Is, am I completely wrong? How Have I completely wasted so much of my time? How, why did I decide to just start using cotton thread? Am I really that crazy? Um, what the heck is the point of stretch thread? Can I use stretch thread correctly with my Singer Simple machine? Or is this for some other thing that I don't understand? Um, and I, I'm sure, you know, this is the thing. I know about these videos, nobody's watching them. So I don't know if I'm gonna get an answer to that. Um, but this is me vlogging about me having a realization that I might have just caused myself a lot of heartache by making projects, entire projects out of stretch fab stretch thread for the stretch fabrics with my basic so the basic sewing machine I am happy that I can continue with just some regular cotton thread and it works and it's fine and my life is a lot easier and it actually goes through the machine and I don't have to rethread it every 10 seconds and yada, 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 yada. But I'm also, why am I like this? And that's all I had to say to you today. Happy Pride.
One thing I haven't mentioned in this vlog thus far is that the other thing for a successful stretch stitch sewing with stretch fabrics is using a ballpoint needle, which I am doing and have been doing this entire project. Just thought I'd mention that in case you want to do something like this yourself. Hi. Um... <laughs> So this is the the jacket. This is one of those things where I'm like, I don't know what to do. Um, you are totally seeing my underwear. Hi, welcome to my... <sighs> Why do I look like Britney Spears? No, but seriously. So this, um, it's difficult, I feel, because this stretchy fabric doesn't iron down well, but it's given the, the style, it's, it's doing... I think it looks better than I even thought it would. This, um, again, is like the, this is the normal like tin fabric and then this is the iridescent stuff. So maybe the light isn't hitting it right, but it just, it is like, I feel like when I'm wearing the, this fabric to this fabric, it will hit right. It will just look really femme. And there's gonna be button, hey, probably just one button here. I was thinking about doing two, but just two buttons here. And I still have to do cuffs, but then yeah, that's done. Um, and then it'll probably look really nice with the rest of the stuff when I finally get it done. After switching to that cotton, uh, thread, I am having so many less troubles and I wish I had known that earlier and we just live and learn, I guess. We just live and learn, but I'm kind of tired for tonight, so I'm going to stop. See you tomorrow after I film more things and hopefully get things done in time. I love, I love pride. Oh my goodness, hi. It's um Saturday. This is the day before I'm supposed to have everything done. I basically have gotten no sewing done all day because I've been filming for the project. I got the cuffs done. Cuffs are on here. And I've been working on, oops, that's the wrong side. I'm on the jacket. Uh, these very uh, interesting looking buttonholes. I've never put buttons on spandex materials before. It's weird. I don't think you're supposed to. But yet again, here's me doing things that I'm not supposed to do. Earlier I was talking about how the cotton thread is making all the difference. It really is. That's the truth. That's the gospel truth. The stretch thread was fraying too much. I have been able to get through. This is like, now mind you, I still have to put it on the actual bodice piece that is together. But right now my machine is handling just fine with the, um, the ballpoint needle. Like seven layers no maybe not one two three four five there's a lot of layers of fabric and it's just working out it's working out just fine and i it is cutting so much time that i thought i was gonna have to do hand sewing what i'm doing is doing there's a there's a tiered skirt thing going on here so i'm taking the bottom tier and attaching that to the panties so once i get that done then i'm going to put it on the rest of the outfit and I might see if I can feed that through a sewing machine as well. I'm gonna take my time. If it doesn't work, I won't be surprised, but it would be really nice if it did.
Okay, so I too really late. I got the jacket done. I got my heart done. See, it's all pretty. It's all pretty. I got this dress leotard thing. It's, it's done. The directions very clearly state that you're supposed to hem the, the bottom of the skirts. I'm not going to. I've decided not to. But that's what you get. And this is the look. And like in like three seconds, I'm going to show you. Maybe there might be an ad for my Red Bubble store. I don't know. We'll find out. But then it's going to be Mrs. Tin Man all the way. Goodbye. Woo! Alrighty, so I'm done. I just filmed with Beth. Say hey, Beth. Hey. Hey, Beth. This is Beth. I love her. This is Kelly and I love her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I feel like it came out good. I feel like this, you know, sometimes it's just like the hair and other things that bring it together. I feel like this is unmistakably Tin Man. Obviously, the funnel coming out of my head yes. helps it. <laughs> you know, I had big dreams of having like a, like a, like a nose and one like this. Uh, you know, because he has a yeah, little, yeah, yeah. the I, funnel nose. This I is, think this is. It's good. Perfect. I have On point. I have the best seal of approval, so it's good. Um, <laughs> like I said, I'm not hemming the bottom, so don't ask me to. And um, yeah, I, I feel like the the color matching and all this kind of business goes well together. Some contrast is obviously more muted. It's nice. I did it tight it in here, tight it in here. It's good. It's good. It's cute. 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 I bejeweled this. It's nice. I got some help from Miss Day from that, so that's nice. And then yeah, gay pride. I put on red earrings. <laughs> Honey, this is not a competition. This is my sewing <laughs> vlog. I gotta tell them what I did. Um, if I was to do anything differently, it would be to get a different pattern because I don't think this pattern is good once, I, I just don't. I'm covering up a lot of sins with this jacket. The skirt portion, because there's so many layers, like there are times, like I said, that my machine was going through like 10 layers of spandex. I don't think that that's normal. And I think that this part is supposed to be something like, I don't know, just some other kind of thin, Organza, some kind of thing like that. But I, this is what I did and I feel good about it and happy pride. I don't have nails on this hand because it's very difficult to play ukulele and nails, or at least I'm not practiced with it. So I don't want to make any. Um, yes, yeah, so please, uh, if you haven't already watched, at this point, the Over the Rainbow special for Reading Time with the Queen should be up. So if you like seeing drag for children, <laughs> go see that. Otherwise, um, thank you, uh, Baba, for watching this vlog. I love you very much. Bye. <laughs>